That was the prize, for goodness <laughs> sake. Right, so the prize is a return crossing from Larn to Cairn Ryan for a car and two people. And the winner is someone from Cairn Dhu. Where's Brian Haverin? Brian, come up and get your prize here. Well done. Brian, can I pronounce your name properly? Haverin. Or are you Haverin? No, because I said to notice nowadays people in television always refer to the name Haverin. What I would call Haverin is Haverin. Are you Haverin or Haverin? Oh, you are Haverin. <laughs> when did you come to Larn to live? <laughs> Good man. There's money in it. Yes, there is money in it, but we know it's you. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Haverin, winner of the prize. And Julie Allen, a round of applause for Julie Allen from p &O. Right, a um, couple of things here. Uh, first of all, so I have to get all my paperwork together here, make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, I mentioned earlier that we have got uh, the, um, the, the former, uh, or the Hall of Fame recipients from down through the years with us, or most of them tonight. Uh, where's Dave McCauley? Dave, have you got a microphone there? Well, you have now. <laughs> Yep. Well, last Saturday night, I was painting and decorating in Larne, and you were my entertainment during the on Radio Ulster. Dave was doing the commentary with Jim Neely on Carl Frampton's big fight. When you were commentating on that day, were old memories flooding back, a sense that it was all coming back to you again, those glory days that you brought for us? Well, to a certain extent it was, but you were too involved in the fight with, with Front and, and, and Avalos, because the fight was so exciting. Uh, look, uh, you just didn't think about what you did yourself in, in, you, in previous years, but I have to take my hat off the card because he did very, 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 very well. Look, he answered a lot of questions that people had been asking, has he got a good chin, has he got a big punch? Mm -hmm. Because when he fought Martinez, he didn't, you know, he, 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 he didn't show those, uh, those, uh, those gifts, but uh, when he fought Avalos, he, was, he could punch hard, he was strong, he had a great chin, and uh, he's got a big heart, and I think that's... Young fellow's going to go very, very, very far. The big talk nowadays is about Scott Quigg, but I sense from you that you were more worried about Avalos than you were about Scott Quigg. I was, because I did a lot of research on Avalos. I was doing a bit of work for the Telegraph and the Sunday Life, so I had to. So I watched all of his fights from he first turned professional, and he was a very, 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 very good fighter. In fact, he was up there with, 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 with Carr, mm -hmm. on, going on his last performance with Martinez, but Frontens improved so much, he came out and he made a very, very good fighter look very, very, very ordinary. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to, uh, to Scott Quick, uh, I just think it's, a, I know you can't be too confident, but I think it's just a formality that they, whenever they fight, the card front's gonna do the same and, and Scott Quick is what he did on Avalos. And I would say the only, only reason why they're fighting Quick is because the money will be absolutely phenomenal for them, mm -hmm. for them both. Yeah, it's just amazing, but Frampton's just superb, really, really good. He's fantastic and he's, I, I would bet money that he's going to be around for quite a while. Um, he's probably ranked now probably the best super bantamweight in the world. He's sort of surpassed Santa Cruz and, and Regan Doe, who are, who are supposedly the two best. But I think Frontman's right up there with those two guys. And when they meet, I think there's only going to be one winner. Well, I hope he gives us the same uh, value and entertainment that you gave us uh, when you spent your time in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the former world uh, flyweight champion, former IBA world flyweight champion, Dave Boy McCauley. Thanks, Dave. To present the uh, awards to the uh, winners. And as always, there was a big community response regarding nominations and the Lawrence Sports Forum had, well, you can understand, quite a task uh, of shortlisting the candidates. Now, to ensure fairness and uh, equality, those shortlisted were then scored by two different independent adjudicators from outside the borough, and the uh, winner was chosen in each category. So well done to all those nominated, and we'll be asking our award sponsors to announce the winners, and our guest of honour, Michael, as I say, is going to make the presentations. And as we're up against the clock, we would appreciate if you could take any family pictures at the end of the evening. And one other thing, if you're going to applaud, please do so after all the nominees have been announced for each award. So this evening's uh, first award category is the Veterans Award, sponsored by Edinburgh Garden Centre. Uh, we've got four nominees for this award. Uh, David Clark for Athletics, 
Uh, local athlete and duathlete, David has quite a busy year competing uh, both in athletics and duathlons. Uh, from a long list of achievements, his highlights include a fourth place finish in the Vets 50 category, representing Ireland in the World Duathlon Championships. Personal best while representing Northern Ireland, the British and Irish Cross Country Championships, and a gold in the Vet 50 category at the Irish Duathlons. Uh, David also had a, no a number of first place category and overall finishes at many local events throughout the year. David Clark in athletics. Adele Neal. Uh, for duathlon and triathlon, also competing in uh, both those events. Adele has had a very successful 2014. Balancing family, training and competing, her highlights included a fourth place finish in the Vet 35 category at the uh, ITU World Duathlon Championships. She also had an eighth place finish in her category at the European uh, Championships. And locally, Adele performed consistently, sealing a number of placed finishes as she competed throughout Ireland over the season. Alison O'Toole for athletics. Mother of two, Alison has had her best season in 2014. Her strong performances locally gained her uh, selection for the Northern Ireland Masters cross country team. Her standout performances in 2014 saw her put in dominant performances with several first place finishes on the local club race circuit, as well as third place finishes in the 800 and 1500 metre Northern Ireland and Ulster track and field championships. And uh, finally, Anne Snoddy for hockey. Lauren Ladies hockey player Anne gained international recognition in 2014, being selected for the Ulster Over 45 hockey team, who then went on to win the Interpros in April. She was then selected for the prestigious Irish Ladies Over 50s international team, who competed at the World Cup in Rotterdam. And as part of this successful team, Anne collected a bronze medal as the team finished in third place for the tournament. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Veterans Award nominees. And I'd like to call upon John Shannon from Middenburg Garden Centre to announce the winner. Here you go, here he is. Here you are, John, there's a mic for you. Congratulations to all the nominees, and the winner of the Veteran Award 2014. It's David Clark. I'll stand back, there's a kind of too many athletes in the photograph. 